What's good? It is your boy Bake. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're talking about five things I want to see change in NBA 2K22. Uh, without further ado, before we get into that, spam up the lockdown game in the comments below, okay? Uh, let me know in the comments what are some things you would like to see change in NBA 2K22. Uh, next gen and current gen, I can't wait to do it. We'll do a community one. Today it's just from your boy. Coming in at the number one spot, I truly believe that the number one thing 2K needs to change in 22 is their communication they need to change their communication. They do not communicate very, very well. They say they do things and they don't do them. They say they fix things and they don't really fix them. And then they change things without really addressing the problem or letting us know that they changed it. And the lack of transparency is a major issue as to why the community is what it is. They're going to this whole it's a community fault why the game is bad or a community fault why the reviews are what they are. But I think it's a little bit of both. I think the community can play a role, but it's also 2K fault because they're not being transparent. They're not letting us know. They're not telling us things that they're making changes to. And then things that they're saying they're fixing it's not getting fixed and it's like 2k all over again yet again where they say they're going to do something and they don't do it like the game comes out really really solid and then they continue to break the game or nerf the game or ruin the game experience with patches and updates and so they just got to figure out that balance i think that's one of the biggest things that needs to be addressed number two uh defense needs to be buff uh, that's one of the biggest things defense can help improve this game uh, balance and, and it can improve the game functionality and mechanics. Now, we all know so many people this year is probably the biggest year. A lot of folks are talking about the 2K's movement, the 2K's ability to not play defense, and the fact that bots can play defense so great in this game lets you know that there's defense in the game, but this is just not for you. The defense in the game is for the computer and the reason why I truly believe that the bots play great defense is because they don't have latency. When you play 2K offline and you play just my career, your player is more responsive. Your player is more in tune. You can move. It moves when you move. When you do a cut, it cuts. When you try to make a play, it makes a play. And the times you get beat is when you're out of position. And so the defense in the game is really, really good when you play offline. But when you play online, that's where we have a major issue the latency the delay the input though when you touch your stick and then your player moves completely later or the mechanics of the defense as well like if you get beat you can't recover it's like you should run in place for a second or two to free up the offensive player to get a shot and i don't know if it's in that way for reasons to allow the offense to score because they beat you but there needs to be some kind of recovery some kind of way to change the movement and the mechanics of the defense and and the last thing the badges of the defense it just doesn't work properly we have one badge to try to combat with like 10 or 11 badges on the offensive side that's why it always feels like our badges are not working i truly feel like we need a badge that's going to allow us to to do different things set of ankle braces or whatever it should be something more like quick quick lateral step, quick a quick reaction, quick something that is going to allow us to move and get better animations. And then the body ups, you know, the body ups are so hard to get. Even when you're in the, in the right vicinity, these little guards are still able to just run through your body. Like there's a lot of clipping in this game, a lot of things like that. So they need to fix the defense. Um, the number three thing, in my opinion, is truly, truly um, the stability of the game. Like th there's so many crashes, too many issues with error codes, too many issues where your game just shuts off, too many problems with the mechanic, like the game functionality. Uh, so many things don't work. Things try to work, it don't work or issues with it so they need to definitely fix the functionality with the game that is a major thing with the game that needs to be addressed the functionality um and so i definitely going to say that number four i truly believe is the contest system 
I think that goes tie in with defense as well too. The contest system in this game is un irrelevant. Like there's no contest in the paint. People getting six percent contests. When you got literally jumping in their grill, you got people shooting greens on 23, 30 contested shots. And it's just like, like there's the contested system. It's just not working the way it's supposed to work. And then the hand up responsiveness, they made it where if you hand up, you get a slight delay. Even when you're in, in good position and, and in a good way to play defense and you got your hand up, your hand up won't respond the way it wants you to respond. It's weird the way the game works it's like you're playing against some kind of system and some kind of uh, algorithm that don't allow you to get certain animations when they don't want you to have them like they'll give you a block one moment and then the next moment they'll let you miss the ball completely i don't get it and it's the same exact play same exact position and so the algorithm won't allow you to do what you need to do and make it where you have to be efficient on the offensive side of the ball so the contest system has to be improved and has to be worked on and then the fifth thing that i truly truly hope that they do is we need more incentives like there's not a lot of incentives in the game once you hit 40 all right now i know there's people who don't hit 40 but there's a lot of people who hit 40 and there's no incentives for you after that it's like you play the game you hit 40 that's it like and then you have these tournaments or not tournaments you have these double rep weeks which are fun which are cool for the most part but you know there's no really no incentivized things for gamers. There's nothing to incentivize you to play. There's nothing to incentivize you to continue to get on the game. And and the and I just think they need to do something um, with the spin the wheel. Like you don't get. I don't know where people be getting this two hundred fifty thousand, three hundred fifty thousand. I mean, when I got the, the supposed to be getting better real success, I'm getting like 2,000 BC, 1,000 BC. Like, it's just being, being, being very, very cheap, 2K, being very, very cheap. Um, and it needs to improve. And then my last bonus one, if I had to say, um, it's just these prices. It, 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 like, get away from this pay to win, this pay to play. Like, I'm doing a series where I'm building a player up with no VC. I haven't bought no VC. And it is rough. Like, it is expensive to upgrade your player. And last year, it was only 80, what, 150,000 to go from 85. And the, and the attribute points wasn't crazy. But I truly think I know why they're charging more VC. And we'll get into that in another video. But there's a there's a there's a sort of a understanding to the madness as to why they're upcharging us now with VC prices. Because last year looked like it was getting better, but this year it got worse again. And I think I know exactly why that is the case. And I got a hunch, and we'll talk about that as well. Also, before we get out of here, we're going to be giving away an Elgato uh, HD 60s. If you are in the process, if you want to stream, if you want to get into this whole YouTube space, let me know. Uh, we we'll do a giveaway for that and next month we're doing uh days of giving where we're giving away things um leading up to christmas maybe it's like a five dollar gift card here um you know maybe get a sweater from your boy whatever the case may be we're going to be giving away some things once a week until we get to christmas then christmas we're going to be giving back as well i want to make sure we we show in love to you guys as we on the way to 20,000 subscribers. I appreciate you guys for all the love and the support. But y'all let me know in the comments below, what are the five things you see or you think 2K needs to change and improve um, in 2K22? Because we, we, we definitely need some changes uh, and we definitely need them to be transparent. It's your boy, Bate. Live life, stress, less, you rock. One of the best, what I've got in my life for been mass. Always remember to have faith, hope, and love. Take care of yourself. Oh, we're back on the OBS today. Peace.